Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to show you how you can upgrade your Lenovo V110 hard drive and RAM. That is hard drive 2, solid state drive and just a bit of extra RAM on it. And you're going to see the performance difference and oh my god, it's going to be huge. There I'm going to show you now how long it takes currently to boot up your Lenovo laptop with normal hard drive which is only spinning hard drive uh, 500 gigs uh, and 5400 rpms and it's desperately slow as you can see yourself now few more seconds and there we go we have a desktop now I'm just gonna press the just to open up the folder to show you it's gonna take another few seconds to open up the actual folder itself it's unbelievable how slow it is and there's no big programs on it or anything really it's just a normal kind of a used laptop there we go one minute almost it's unbelievable so we're gonna change that now in a minute, we're gonna upgrade this laptop to solid state drive, also install extra 4GB uh, TDR4 on it, and there should be a huge performance difference after that. I'm just gonna turn off laptop now. And there we go, now we're ready to open up the laptop. It's not actually as bad as I thought it's gonna be. It's let's say in total it shouldn't take you more than 30 minutes maybe and also you can see what's going on inside of the laptop you're gonna see what kind of a battery it has what kind of a wi-fi card it has and you can see how you open up your laptop it's very plasticky though i have to say but I ha I, I've seen way worse laptops, so it's not too bad. I'm gonna speed things up a bit now, because otherwise it's gonna take a long, long time to go through all that. There we go, we have all the screws removed on the back panel. Now you just have to remove the back panel itself. Use something plastic now. Don't use your screwdriver. Anything with metal now, I don't recommend to use it. You're gonna leave seriously ugly marks on your laptop try to use whatever you have plastic there if you have a credit card or anything like that it's good there we go we have loosened the back panel now all you have to do now is trying to remove the back panel itself it may resist a bit try not to break off anything Take your time and here we are that's how your laptop should look inside there's only one memory slot on this motherboard on this laptop now so if you want if you want to upgrade ram i recommend buy an 8 gigabyte stick or 16 gigabyte stick i only had 4 gigabyte stick so in total it's gonna be 8 because there's already four solder to the motherboard you can't take it off you you can't do anything about it there's four already on it and one free slot so if you buy in four extra you're gonna have eight in total if you buy in 16 gigabyte stick you're gonna have 20 gigs in total so it's up to yourself what you want to do there you go there's your hard drive there and before you start uh, disconnecting anything at all I recommend you to disconnect your battery just for I suppose safety or not to mess up your motherboard or any anything to connect it to your motherboard it's simple enough just pull it out that's it and I'm gonna disconnect the hard drive itself now there's two screws there now one has little Lenovo sticker on it. You can put your screwdriver straight through it, no problem. And the second one is there connected to the DVD connection. You can see it in a second now. I'm gonna unscrew it. 
Anything you disconnect now there, just take good care. There we go, their second screw now. Just remove this one as well. And just kind of a, in a good manner, pull out the hard drive. There we go, that's the hard drive, what's in it? It's Western Digital, 500 gigs. A really, really slow hard drive now, for these days anyway. Four screws connecting this hard drive to the caddy, so you have to remove these ones. I just speeded up things uh, just a little bit here. Okay, all you do now is just to take out the hard drive. And as for solid state drive, you can you can do whatever you want. Depends how much money you have. You can buy a really, really good one, Samsung one or whatever, whatever one you really feel. I have kind of a budget solid state drive here. A Seno or whatever, it, I don't know how you pronounce that. 240 gigs. They're decent enough drives. They're definitely budget. I'm gonna leave maybe a link in the description so you can see yourself. And same way as you took out the hard drive, you're gonna put that back in there and screw in the four screws to hold the solid state drive in the caddy. And oh, same thing again, just take good care now. Install that hard drive back in again. And same two screws will go exactly as they were before. And the little ribbon now. Same thing again, connect that as well. Beautiful. And that's pretty much it. You can now, okay, if you don't upgrade memory, you can close your laptop, your solid state drive was upgraded. I'm gonna put extra four gigs of RAM in it. It's gonna be just a second now, you're gonna see how's that done. I love RAM upgrades, they're most simple. That's your DDR4 stick now, four gigs. Also, I'm gonna leave the specs in the description so you know what to buy. So this laptop is gonna have total 8 gigs of RAM and 240 gigabytes solid state drive. Connect your battery back again. Don't forget it, otherwise you have to open up your laptop later again. There we go. And all you have to do now is put your back panel back, push it in properly. It's gonna resist as well, just a bit now, especially corners now. And that should be pretty much it. Your laptop is upgraded. All you have to do now is install your Windows again. That's a totally different tutorial. There's probably millions of them on YouTube. So if, you, if you're not familiar with it, you can just do a bit of search. That's all. And screw your screws back. And you just in second now you're gonna see massive performance boost. It's gone from minute down to I'd say it was less than 30 seconds. We're gonna see now in a second. It's a huge difference. Okay, I'm powering on the laptop here. And I'm gonna be in Windows now in any second. It's unbelievable. That's it, 13 seconds I'm on, on the desktop and to open up the folder, another two, three seconds, 18 seconds in total. So it's a massive performance boost. Definitely recommend it. If you are happy with this tutorial, subscribe, press the thumbs up button, like the video and uh, thanks for watching. And you know what? Have a good life. Bye bye.